Hello, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm very excited to share a new model from Tierra Sport with you. I'd like you to meet the all-new Tierra Sport 43LE. All right, here she is. This is our absolutely beautiful 2021 Tierra Sport 43 LE. This is a new model from Tierra, the first one we've received on the West Coast, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Here at the transom, we have the 450 Mercury Racing engines, three of them, uh, 4.3 liter supercharged V8s. They're extremely quiet and very smooth. I'm very impressed with them. We have a dive ladder that comes out of the end of the hall here. Linko Auto trim tabs. We have the Reverso outboard flush system. So this little port, you plug in the hose, you push a button over here, and it flushes the motor sequentially. Another cool feature of this boat is it has this uh, dive door with an, uh, another hookup for a dive ladder there. And stepping aboard, we have this beautiful and expansive cockpit. I love how these outboard boats are getting so wide. The all-new Tierra Sport 43LE is all about entertainment on the water. It's about luxury, it's about comfort, and it's about that express-type boat that gives you some enclosure from the wind. The entertainment zone starts here. The cockpit's very large for a boat of this size. We have two seats that face aft, and then we have this beautiful cockpit seating module. It has footrests, you have this built-in table that's removable, and once it's removed, it will store underneath the hatch here. You have USBs on either side. Underneath the armrest here, speakers that spin with the module, and there's also a uh, subwoofer built in that spins around with the whole module as well. There's a button we push on the side, and we can spin the module all the way around. Now that we've spun the seating module all the way around, you can see we've opened up about three feet of deck space here. This is something you normally wouldn't get on an outboard powered boat. So I do really love this versatility. It's a great area, it allows you to easily traverse and also just enjoy the view of your beautiful Mercury 450R racing engines. When we spin the seating module around, we bring this countertop closer to what we would consider the galley area. We have our two refrigerators forward, our sink, plenty of countertops, serving areas, so much over on this side of the boat, and it's nice to swing this around, and now you have this amazing, entertaining, serving, kind of party in the kitchen type fill. Under this side of the countertop, we have access to our storage. You can also access that storage by turning these latches. These are all lockable. And as you can see, we have a nice storage area below. Here we have our Kenyan electric barbecue. These are great grills, non-stick griddle with a removable disposable drip tray. Uh, you can buy the drip trays by the tin pack, throw one away, put one in, you're done. Very nice setup. So at this point, you're probably thinking, man, that's amazing, I'll buy it. But there's so much more to this boat, so let's keep going. Isn't that cool? This is a first for Tierra. We have a port side gunnel here that folds completely flat. I love how flush it is to the deck. You have a dive ladder that can attach just here. All the hardware is top notch. They really got this right. Now one other thing to note, I've now spun the seating module to its third position and this is locked in facing out over our uh, gunnel, which is now dropped and kind of turned into what we'd call a beach club. That also lines you up very nicely with your aft facing seats and just makes for another great entertainment option. Uh, we have stereo controls here. I like that we have this little countertop up here with a handhold. Uh, below that, we have our seat and it has a massive, massive, massive draining ice chest underneath it. You get one arm uh, armrest here. And now on the other side, we have the same thing, massive cooler. Uh, but this one we optioned it with the cold box and so it will go uh, down to very chilly or freezing in that area. Little area for your phones, very nice. Let's go ahead and step forward and take a look back at our Make Fast Sunshade. That is another great feature with the push of a button that just comes out and you can run with it out. 
Um, one thing I don't want to forget, we have a hot and cold water shower here, your shore power hookups, fresh water hookups, um, everything you need electrical is right in here. All right, so now we're kind of getting to our galley area here. You have a refrigerator drawer, storage, and a sink. Plenty of countertop area. And again, on this side, countertop area, drawer, and then another drawer refrigerator. So three massive refrigerators on this boat. Plenty of countertop space. Both of these seats will rotate around and face aft, or you can have this seat turn 90 degrees and face the helm. Very commanding views from the helm, and uh, even when people are on the sun pad, you can see over them. All right, we have a 110 outlet on either side here, and then we have trash and recycling on either side as well. If we go ahead and push this button, we have a television that comes down out of the ceiling. That's a sand zone. Looks to be about a 32-incher. Very cool feature. So moving forward, again, this is all UV glass, absolutely beautiful. Uh, we have the Fusion sound system here, storage that's lockable up above. Here's your Seakeeper 6 controller, more storage down here. You have your air conditioning and heating control on this side, and I love this beautiful helm with the wood and all the technology. Here's your vents across the way, same thing, tons of technology, beautiful wood, plenty of cup holders. Here's your joystick, and this also has your skyhook and autopilot in it. Bow, bow thruster is standard. Here's a, um, a charger, dual USBs. All of your switching, all lights up at night. Beautiful tilt wheel. Linko Auto trim tab control, engine start, smart throttles, more charging. And then you have um, vents over here as well. Um, also, your AC is just there. And if you notice here, this is a step. This will fold down and you have a much taller point of view to stand if you're a little shorter. Opening hatch above and opening windows on either side. We have the thigh rise bolster, we have the armrests, and we have storage below, which is also a really cool option. Here we have a full-size ice maker, so, you know, I think this boat is definitely going to hold a few drinks and, uh, you know, it'd be great for barbecue. As we step down into the boat, you'll notice we have teak steps with stainless steel treads, beautiful teak flooring, and look at this absolutely massive bed. I'm not sure if this shows up on camera, but this is over seven feet long, and uh, man, it's gotta be almost six feet wide. Beautiful, very large bed, very low down. The surrounds have the same stitching as outside, and look at those beautiful views. We have drapes that will come down on either side, you have a port hatch up here, reading lights, more storage for phones, wireless charging and USBs, plenty of storage under here. Here's our panel, ignitions, generator start, AC for this area, water tanks, smart DVD player, AC DC panel, very well laid out. Across the way we have our hanging locker, we have a curtain that will pull out here for privacy, convection oven. I really like the head on this boat. So very light, opening porthole, but see this how they did the exposed plumbing, very modern, very cool fixtures, storage here, plenty of headroom, and here's your separate shower. So all in all, just a very beautiful head and very surprising for a boat of this size. I'm also very surprised by this room. All right. So as you can see, we have a full other cabin in here. As we step in, very large storage and it has 110 outlets and USBs. Here's your hanging locker. Opening the porthole, you have the sunshade that comes down. Nice bench along the side. Here's the Tierra Yeti cooler that comes with the boat. And then look at this, this massive, massive bed. Again, great for tall people. And uh, as you can see, it angles up a little on the back. Uh, so just a very beautiful bed, plenty of headroom to sit up uh, in bed. And I think this will be a great area for the kids or even another couple.
All right, continuing on, we have these great walkways. They feel very secure, they're very nice and wide. And that brings us out to this beautiful sun pad here on the bow. It's absolutely massive, definitely good for three. Either backrest here will flip up. And the thing to note here, if you see where the driving position is, even with the backrest flipped up, the driver can still see right over the top of the people out here. So cup holders on either side, areas for your phone, and just massive. I think it's the biggest one they've ever made, and I definitely like this new style that's inset down into the boat. We have the Phantom Radar up top, nice air horn, dual VHF antennas, terrestrial television antenna here, GPS, and then we have the Sirius satellite radio on the other side. Okay, now I'm down in the machinery space of the boat. We have two battery chargers, our main panel with battery switches. Here's our Seakeeper 6, and here's our uh, Cummins Onan generator. This is an absolutely great unit. It's a 7.5 kW, and it is a um, diesel generator. We have some batteries here. I believe these are your house batteries. You can see the flush system for the outboards just there. All of your rigging and bonding, water pumps, all of your through hauls, very easy to get to. More batteries here on the other side. Here's your water heater. So everything's just very well laid out, plenty of room to get around, and um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful down here. All right tides. We're going to go under this bridge and this is like the skinniest part of the harbor let's say. So we're going to come in here. Info. Tides and currents. Tides. This is Bravo up here. Let's see what other stations. Let's go to Newport entrance. Okay so we're good. And you can change the date. What's it going to be tomorrow day after. And then you also need to know Celestial. I like that one. You have that's to be pretty. celestial. Yeah, let's see. The moon phase. Oh, there's our moon tonight. That's beautiful. Yeah, so you can come here, like on your way home from work, go to this, and if it's a full moon, you just know to watch out. That's awesome. Yes. You can even see the craters. Yes. Can we see Mars from here? No, but yeah, uh, I believe you can see Uranus. <laughs> Check out that one. There it is. There it is, Uranus. No, there's a lot of good stuff in here, like the owner's manual. So you can go in here and go, okay, I want to go to page 47. Done. It takes you to page 47. You can read on this screen and then work on that screen. That's awesome. Mercury racing 450Rs, 57 miles an hour with a Sea Keeper. 